The topic I will be discussing is membrane receptors, G proteins, cyclic AMP, and signal transcription. This mechanism is composed of proteins embedded in the plasma membrane, which includes a receptor and effector. G protein coupled receptors are metabotropic receptors, meaning that they use neurotransmitters as a ligand, which binds to receptor proteins and triggers a response. Bound to the receptor is the heterotrimeric G protein. Heterotrimeric simply means that it has three parts, which are the alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. I will be discussing the pathway in which cyclic AMP serves as a second messenger. In this case, the G protein is a stimulatory protein called GS. The purpose of the GS mechanism is to stimulate our effector adenylyl cyclase, which is an enzyme that catalyzes ATP in order to form cyclic AMP. A neurotransmitter binds to the receptor to trigger an effect. In this case, the neurotransmitter is epinephrine, which once bound causes protein conformation. The binding of epinephrine to the receptor allows the dissociation of the G protein from the receptor. Guanosine diphosphate, GDP, is exchanged for guanosine triphosphate, GTP, which then activates the alpha subunit. Once activated, the alpha subunit dissociates from the other two subunits of the G protein. The alpha subunit binds to the effector adenylyl cyclase. Once stimulated, adenylyl cyclase catalyzes the formation of CAMP from ATP. Cyclic AMP binds to the regulatory subunit of protein kinase A, also known as PKA. The catalytic subunits then dissociate and phosphorylate proteins within the cell. This form of post-translational modification results in a cascade of intracellular responses. GTP is hydrolyzed forming GDP, thus inactivating the alpha subunit. Once deactivated, the alpha subunit dissociates from adenylyl cyclase and reassociates with the beta gamma subunits of the G protein. Adenylyl cyclase is now deactivated, thus the production of CAMP from ATP is decreased. Phosphodiesterase then comes in and destroys the remaining CAMP in the cell. The catalytic subunit reassociates with the regulatory subunit of protein kinase A. The proteins stop being phosphorylated and signal transduction from cell to cell stops occurring.